Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. Hello Pharma Aspirants, welcome or welcome back to GDC channel. In this video, we will be going to discuss about the mechanism of action of some antibiotics which are not classified. The mnemonics for remembering these antibiotics is Mr. Lalu Gop. M stands for macrolides. Here macrolides is a itself a category of antibiotics. L for glucosamide. G for glycopeptide. O for oxazolidone. Oxazolidinone P for polypeptide antibiotics and Pristinamycin Q for urinary antibiotics. In this video, we are going to discuss one by one these class of antibiotics and some details about these antibiotics. The mechanism of action of macrolides. This bacterial protein synthesis is earlier discussed in detail. I am just going briefly through this synthesis. First step is the chain initiation step. In this amino acids are added by the assembly. And in second step which is chain elongation. The amino acid chain is elongated and new amino acids are added. In translocation step, the amino acid moves from A site to pre site to so that a new amino acid could came to A site. In this amino acid transport is done in the initiation step and then peptide bond formation happens in second step and ribosome moves to next mRNA codon in third step. In this we are going to discuss about the erythromycin and clindamycin. The mechanism of action of these two drugs is that these two drugs bind to the 50S ribosome subunit and hinders the translocation of elongated peptide. That is, these two drugs clindamycin and erythromycin inhibits the elongation, peptide bond elongation which is movement of amino acid from P site to A site to elongation of protein. So, the translocation of elongated protein peptide chain back from A site to P site is inhibited by erythromycin and clindamycin. And also the ribosome does not move along the mRNA to expose next codon. Now the mRNA does not move further to expose the new codon. Peptide synthesis may be prematurely terminated. Now, when the peptide bond elongation is terminated, the peptide synthesis is prematurely terminated. That was the mechanism of action for erythromycin and clindamycin. Now, we are going to discuss the one category by category these drugs in detail. Macrolide. The classification of macrolides is follows. R A C E race this is a trick to remember macrolides or you could also uh, trick it like that macrolides always race with each other so r stands for roxithromycin r for roxithromycin
azithromycin a for azithromycin c for clarithromycin and e for erythromycin Mechanism of action in brief that these drugs bind to the 50S subunit and interfere with the translocation of elongated peptide chain and back from the A site to P sites. Lincosamide antibiotics. The lincosamide antibiotics contains clindamycin. And the mechanism of action of clindamycin is same as macrolides, as I have discussed earlier. The next category is glycopeptide antibiotics. Two drugs are vancomycin and picoplanin. The mechanism of action of glycopeptide antibiotics, that is vancomycin and ticloplanin. TV is these drugs act by inhibiting the bacterial cell wall synthesis by binding with the transglycolase enzyme and inhibits the chain elongation of bacterial cell wall. So these drugs inhibit bacterial cell wall synthesis, not protein synthesis. Cell wall synthesis is inhibited as it binds with the transglycolase enzyme and inhibits the chain elongation of bacterial cell wall. Next category is oxazolidinones. This contains linezolid and tedizolid TL. These oxazolidinones inhibit the protein synthesis by binding with the 50S ribosome and interferes with the formation of ternary and formal methionine tRNA 70 as initiation complex. These drugs inhibit the protein synthesis by binding with the 50S ribosome and get interfered with the formation of ternary and formal methionine R tRNA 70X 70 as initiation complex. Miscellaneous antibiotics such as spectinomycin, spectinomycin. This spectinomycin acts by binding in the 30S ribosome and inhibits the bacterial protein synthesis. Next is quinopristine and delphopristine. These two drugs, quinopristine and delphopristine, binds with 50S subunit and inhibits the protein synthesis. The next drug is mupirocin. This mupirocin acts by inhibiting the bacterial protein synthesis by blocking the production of tRNA for the isoleucine amino acid. Next is polypeptide antibiotics. These are polymyxin B, cholestin, and basitracin. These polymyxin B and cholestin acts by inhibiting the bacterial cell membrane through have detergents like action on cell membrane. This inhibits the bacterial cell membrane. Polymyxin B and cholestin. Bacitracin acts by inhibiting the bacterial cell wall synthesis at the earliest. Bacitracin, which is a polypeptide antibiotic, inhibits the bacterial cell wall synthesis at the earlier stage. At last, the last unclassified antibiotics is the urinary antiseptics. In next video, we are going to discuss a detailed 
information about the urinary antiseptics thank you for watching this video